Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and this is Time Smith and The Watch by Benke Smith and Andras Bartazzi. Before we do this, can you please like, subscribe, check out cardmagiccourse.com. That is my online card magic course. If you like this, you will love that. You learn from me from 2013 up to now, and I'm still making monthly videos to put on the course. We have live sessions every week, Zoom sessions, where we have a good chat, hang out, and ask any questions you like. So that's cardmagiccourse.com, learn from a pro. So Benker had Dice Smith, um, Cube Smith, which I love, which was a miraculous application, uh, and I still use all the time, I just adore it. And that's still growing, and that's just, I don't know how this guy stops. I mean, Benke just, I don't know when he sleeps. He, he's right on it with this stuff, and it's no different with Time Smith and Dice Smith, which I'm going to talk about soon uh, on a different video. So this is the SB Watch, which Andras has created. It has been made in correlation, in, in made parallel with the development of the Time Smith app. So people are going, well, you know, we've got things like the Turner Watch, and yes, and they're brilliant, and I love the Turner Watch, but this has been made specifically together. Bunker and Andrush have made this together, which means that anything that happens with our app, which is this constant development, is happening also with the watch. That's what it's made for. Other watches do work, but that's fine. But and people have been asking a lot about that online, and that's the answer to that. The app itself, if you haven't come across this sort of thing before, basically the basic thing is you have this watch, which obviously looks very analog. Um, you can have it hanging up somewhere if you're doing a Zoom show behind you. You can have it in a box somewhere. You can also clearly have it on your wrist, of course. Uh, someone says any time and the time is shown on the watch. That's the basic thing. The two things are we'll look at is different ways we can use that and how to get that information into the watch. I'm not going to go into loads of detail, but I think it's okay by this time that we kind of talk about how it works. The, the, the first one is the different ways of getting the time. Obviously you can just say it, you can freeze time. So you get the time into the watch and we'll, which we'll discuss in a minute, or you can have lots of pre-allocated time. So if you're using a certain routine with different time forces, you can do that. Freeze time just means that the, the time doesn't keep moving from that time. So there's two settings. You can either, because it does work as a normal watch, you can wear this thing. You can uh, have it so a certain time is found on the watch and it keeps moving. So it's, it's still a normal watch and it keeps telling the time from that point. Or you can get it to freeze. And basically what happens is the app's sending it constant messages every five seconds or whatever to make sure it stays at that time. And that can be with a custom time, <clears throat> excuse me, or it can be with, with a force time that you get it to. Uh, obviously with the force time, you can, you can have them look at the watch and it says the current time. And then when they look at it again, it's got the, the different times. So it's great for stories and things like that. It's how you get that. Sort of, oh, and another, <laughs> I've got to say this. Another routine is this dice routine, which is used with Dice Smith. So this is what I've been really loving. And again, you've got to have the dice with it. And it's a, so, you know, we're talking about investment here, but the, the Dice Smith I'll talk about in a different app. But if you've got the, the dice that Andras makes, uh, you can roll two dice. You have three dice and you say, right, roll any two. That's how we're going to get the minutes, the hours. They roll the two and you add them together and go, right, so it's six. Now we're going to roll any other two and you can have three dice on the table. And then we're going to make the minutes. Um, so if it's a two and one, it'll be 21. And they roll it, but you can say, or you can change it. You can have it one and two or two and one. So you can have it 12 or 20, which do you want? And then they choose. They don't even have to say it out loud. They can write it down so they know it's not voice recognition in this instance. And the clock, the watch says that time. That is miraculous. The whole thing's miraculous. It's amazing. There are various ways of making all this stuff happen, all right? There's voice recognition, which works really, really well. I'm not getting anywhere near that because I've got a lispy voice, which voice recognition gets a bit confused with, but it's still even with my voice works really well. But again, if I'm on stage, I'm probably not gonna do that. You can just type it in if you've got a confederate. You can have a Bluetooth screen so you can see everything in front of you as you're doing it to give you that reassurance. You can use PeakSmith. Now, PeakSmith is something I'm gonna, again, probably make a, another video of, but this is, because this is all, you know, Andrush makes PeakSmith 2 as well, the 2B that I've got, but they're all, at the moment, there are slight differences, but they all work brilliantly. 
that way you can just have that look at something a readout that says yep that's the time we've got because you can use a swipe method which is very very easy but takes a little bit of practice and there are various different swipe methods to use uh, and there are there are other ways of doing it there are apple watch integration now so you can use your watch and people might say well what, what would you use two watches well they're not going to see the apple watch you might be facing the other way and again this could be in a what on the table face down or whatever and more to come. There's integration with The Stranger, if you know about The Stranger app. And if you don't, search for my um, review on this, where you can phone someone up and a complete stranger knows the time and it's on the watch. It gets ridiculous. Ridiculous in a really, really good way. So, sorry, my, my computer made a very strange noise then. I think that's the news. Uh, the, uh, the, is there any downsides to this? I think the thing is, with all this stuff is that you it's so good that you have to be aware of presentation it's so tempting just go look brilliant name a time 331 i think it's almost too too good and i don't mean that in a bad way it just means we have to have presentation and that's not a problem because the documentation for this is absolutely brilliant that you go on and you go through every single setting there are a lot of settings on this you don't have to know all of them most of them you won't use very much but, but Benka takes you through everything on the, on the web page so you really understand it. And, and it's not complicated to use. It's really, really simple to use. It's really customizable. You can use it in many, like if you like a certain type of swiping to get the time, you can do that. So it's got like three different types. It's so many settings, but don't let that scare you. They're not complicated ones. So you just, you just again, you know, with great power comes great responsibility and, and nothing is more, more true in this case. A lot of people have been using Benka stuff, a lot of people have been using Andrash's stuff and there is very good reason for this. I've tested the watch a lot. I will put all the details of the watch um, down below with the dimensions and things like that. But this is, a, this is a, a larger face watch. There are loads of different styles. The links will be below. You can order it. Um, you, you have to sort of do a little fill out a form to order it to make sure you get the one you want. But the important thing for me as a magician is, does it look like a normal watch? Yes. Is it a nice watch? Yes. Is it well built? Absolutely. If you read the documentation, it's really, really well built. Um, and does it work? And this is the fear, isn't it? You know, there's a fear when you pick up that watch and you, you, they've set a time and you go, please, please let it be, you know. And I have done this hundreds of times. I have sat there for a lot and just done it again and again and again. The only thing I've noticed every now and then with the dive through chain and things like that, there's a little bit of a lag and you just have to know it's there. It's not that it's a problem, but you just have to kind of know that when you do this thing, just wait a little bit and then it's going to be okay. And once you play with it a bit, you just know how long that's time. It's only a matter of seconds. We're not talking issues here. The, the, this is growing and growing and growing. And that's the exciting thing for me at, at its it hasn't been out that long, but even now it's incredible. But there's a new firmware version coming up where uh, Andras has said this is going to happen. And then we're looking at this and it's just like, this is incredible. This is so powerful. It starts doing other things. Your phone isn't, you're not even going to have to get your phone out. It's, you know, and, and even if you do the, with a fake lock screen and all that, all these different ways of getting that time to it, it's totally hidden. It works on stage. It works in close up. It works on Zoom. It works everywhere. So I have used this specifically with this watch it does work with other watches you just will not get that functionality it's made you'll get it will do most things but it might like some watches won't do the freeze time and again when we start moving into the next phase of this um, a lot of uh, the other watches i think won't work with it routining the, all you have to do is look on the facebook page there is some amazing stuff people like michael murray have put routine ideas on there many people and you get I mean, they're very generous, these people are putting, you know, it's not just rubbish ideas. These are strong ideas of how to make this a, a performance piece as well as a brilliant magic trick. There really isn't anything negative to say about this. The watch is great. It works great. It looks great. It works as a normal watch. It does what it's supposed to do. The app is brilliant. The development is brilliant. The aftercare is amazing. They just don't stop these people. They don't disappear. Benka is still on it, even with Cubesmith still and with the Dice Smith that I'm going to be reviewing. And Andrash's spotted dice on a separate video, so make sure you watch that. Absolutely great. I know this is maybe a slightly longer video, but I think it's important you know what you're getting when you're spending this kind kind of money. Um, and as I said, the prices and everything will be below. Thank you very much for watching. 
thank you to Andras and Benka for making it and for sending it to me to review. I really, really appreciate that. And thank you very much for supporting me. Still, uh, it's not taken for granted. Please like, please subscribe, please check out Card Magic Course and have a wonderful one. Take care.